Hi guys, today we're talking about transparent mirrors. Transparent means things that you can see through. Your learning objectives, I can describe properties of congruent figures. I can identify reflections of 2D or two-dimensional figures. I can describe reflections of 2D figures or two-dimensional figures. I can sketch reflections of 2D or two-dimensional figures. Today it's all about congruency and reflections and I love this part of math, so let's get started. Here's a picture of what a transparent mirror, the basic, like the base model looks like. Some of the cool features are you set it down on the paper with a drawing edge and it's actually kind of recessed or bent in a little bit so that you can draw along it. Super helpful when we talk about lines of reflection. And instead of just showing you a picture, I'd actually like, like to get started right away because it's super cool if you're okay with that. So my question is, how do you use a transparent mirror or one that you can see through to draw reflected congruent images? Let's go ahead and watch. So I have my whiteboard set up here and this is what the transparent mirror looks like. Mine's purple. Um, these are the two ends. And then on the bottom here, here's the recessed image I was talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down on my board. And I'm going to play around with it a little bit. Hopefully you'll still be able to see it. So notice that how I have it sitting down. And I'm going to go ahead first and draw a little squiggle line because I like me some squiggles. So I'm just going to go do 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 Oh, that looks beautiful. Mr. Nutty would totally approve of that. So that is my pre-image. It's the image I've drawn. Watch what happens when I put my transparent mirror up. My recess side is down. Okay, that's boring, you can't see anything. But watch what happens now when I bend it a little bit. This will be different when you actually have it in front of you, but since I have it face down right now, or the camera is zooming straight down, I gotta bend my mirror a little bit, but watch what happens. Uh, isn't that awesome? Take a look at that. My pre-image, it looks like I've almost just taken it and flipped it over my purple transparent mirror, and it's a reflected image on the other side. It's the same size, so it's congruent. And watch what else I can do. I can move it around. Oh, I can make it come a little bit closer. Oh, so cool. So you heard me use some vocabulary when I was showing you the transparent mirror. When you draw the original drawing, that's called the pre-image right there. That's what you draw. When you go ahead and put your transparent mirror down, which is this right here, what you get on the other side is a congruent image of your pre-image. That's what's on this back side here. Notice that it's opposite of your pre-image. It's like you took it, picked it up, flipped it over the transparent mirror and set it back down. So the image and the pre-image are congruent. That means that they have the same shape and size. And we remember that congruent images or congruent shapes mean that they match exactly when they're placed on top of each other. Now these are the same size. It doesn't look congruent, so sometimes they're going to turn them sideways. And you might have to adjust to make sure that, yep, they are definitely congruent because they lay right on top of each other. Sometimes you have to play around with it a little bit. That's a little bit better. Okay, so that's congruent when they're the same size and same shape. They might be turned, they might be flipped, they might slide a little bit, they're still congruent. Okay, last thing. Did you know you can write secret messages with transparent mirrors? I'm not even making this up. Watch. Mr. Nutty left me a note the other day, and he thought he could be sneaky because he was like, Mrs. MacPhail won't figure this out. And I said, you know what, Mr. Nutty? You're in luck because I have a transparent mirror. Now, that's what he left me. Really, Mr. Nutty? Really? I can't read that. Or so he thought until I had my handy dandy transparent mirror. And now I can read his messages. And since he's also learning Spanish right now, he also is practicing his exclamation points. They're kind of upside down. He's working on it. Okay, that's all for today. Go play around with these in class, and we'll see you later.